hello guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl ajama forest if this is your first time coming across my video you are highly welcome all i'm asking for you is to hit the red button to become part of the family okay for all my subscribers i had you guys you know that and my returning viewers thank you so much for so in today's video guys i'm gonna be showing you how i made this not less 13 by 6 not less braided wig so let me quickly showcase to you guys the materials i used for this project i made use of attachment color 30 then or 13 by 6 frontal i related the frontal myself if you want to see how i made the ventilation go to my youtube channel you will see it there but for the pattern i parted it off camera i made use of my scissors okay scissors are a needle and thread i made use of my dawn caps spandex that was the one i used and I also made use of uh, my big crochet pin and my tiny uh, pin okay so as you can see from the screen right now I am trying to you know to hold down the the frontal onto the wig cap using my pin as I'm stretching it out I'm also making sure that I'm I'm holding it so firm with my small pin. The essence of stretching it out before holding is to avoid having any kind of bump at the middle after sewing it down. So guys, after holding it down with my small pin, I went ahead to sew it down and use the normal way of sewing. I passed my needle through the dawn cap, then bring it out through the 13 by 6 nails. Then I made a knot. I started from one end down to the other end. So, guys, watch the video. The video is self explanatory. Okay. So guys, this is how the uh, the sewing looks after I must have finished sewing it down. So the next thing I did was to uh, make a knot three times. I knotted it three times. Then I now made use of my scissors to rip off the excess thread. So after that, the next thing I did was to make use of my crochet pin. Okay. You pick a little quantity of uh, attachment, hook it with your crochet pin, pass it through the dawn cap, then you cross it over using the bigger quantity of attachment. I'm going to take it again for you guys to understand. So, I pass the little quantity through the, or uh, using my crochet pin, okay? Now, I picked the bigger quantity cross it over you fix it as if you are fixing it directly on a normal human head okay crocheting work is not hard so because of time guys i'm gonna fast forward this video but don't worry i uh I'll say carry you along. So as you can see, I've pulled a little quantity, then I cross it over with the bigger one now. Then I started braiding. 
is very easy. I'm showing you again the one you use for the crossing will be bigger than the first one you you, you crochet okay the one you use your crochet to pass through the dunk cap the one you will cross over will be bigger so I went ahead off camera because of time to fix all other areas including the front parts I've started uh, braiding on the front part I mean the frontal part okay so but to carry you guys along I uh, actually left a line at the middle so that we are gonna do it together so I'm just showing you my work what I have done so far okay yeah the front parts the front part is not normal fixing i made use of um not less braiding that is ghana weaving so let's do the 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 line that left let's do it together this is my favorite gel if you can afford it go for it because it doesn't leave a kind of white residue after braiding it is quite expensive in a way but if you can afford it go to it it's my favorite so as you can see from the video I've already brought out the extensions that I'm gonna work with then I braided the hair a little while then I started to add my extensions and the pattern I used here was or uh, inner stitching okay I did not use regular Ghana weaving patterns as you can see just watch the video you understand what I mean because my explanation might not make too sense to you just watch it you understand the pattern I use and what I meant by you know inner station The more I worked, the more I add extensions. Remember, you're going to add extensions to your desired taste. Because what I desire might not uh, might not be your own desire. You work according to your own taste, okay? So let's take it again. Watch the video critically. You understand the inner station pattern. As for me, that's my favorite, okay? Whenever I'm making Ghana within this is the pattern I normally use. I don't use Greg Grab or Ghana weaving pattern. This is my favorite today, tomorrow is my favorite hey guys if you are still watching down to this clip you are the real mvp i thank you so much all you need to do is, if you are not yet uh hit the red button please do well support my ministry if you really love what you're seeing hit the red button subscribe like comment and do well to share so that others will get to see what we are doing on this channel please support your girl let's move this channel to the next level okay so i'm taking it once again if you fail to get it the first time the second time i don't think that this third time you are, you, are, you will not get it okay so watch it you are gonna get it right now it's time to add extension
so like i said if you are working and you do not have any assistance as if you don't have anyone assisting you before breading make sure that you brought out all the extensions that you're gonna use as you can see no one was assisting me so before breading each one i made sure that i brought out all the extension that i'm gonna use for that particular one when i'm done with that one i'll now bring out another one so if you don't have anyone assisting you while making then a braiding make sure that you first of all brought out the extensions that you're gonna use so after that you can now uh, move on with braiding so as you can see we are done with the line the next thing i did was to braid all the hairs down to the tips because i was braiding halfway all this way so it's time for me to take it to the next level that is braiding it down to the tips yeah i'm almost done with this project so this is it the next thing was for me to trim it with my scissors that is so important okay because that will make your work to look neat and the, after that i dipped it inside hot water very high highly boiled water okay i did that off camera and when it dried i now cut off the excess dump cap inside sweet that's why cutting it off take your time so that you will not spoil your work take it easy okay to cut the excess tongue cap inside look at it so look at our work look at it look at how neat it looks our 13 by 6 frontal braided with so after ripping off the net the next thing i did was to or uh, put a starting move so that if there are some other SS fireways, this starting moves will help them to lay down properly. Okay, so after that, I styled it into a ponytail. Look at it! Voila, here is our end result. So, thank you for watching. If you love what you saw, hit the red button become part of the family bye bye